hi beautiful people so today i'm going to show you how i came up with this top and how i came up with this beautiful pattern over here and basically how i did my alpine stitch and how i finished my age and so this is the back side of it and uh, you can see how nicely it can fit a three-year-old girl can make it for a toddler and it can be made for an older person because it's sizable so today we are going to need our shoulder measurements for this top uh, my shoulder measurements are 27 because I'm making it for a five-year-old girl so basically I'm going to take shoulder length so being it's it's being an off shoulder so you'll have to take that length a three millimeter hook and of course some ball of yarn so I'm going to double my yarn because it's thin so I started with a slip knot then chained I chained up to 120 120 chains uh, which uh, when stretched it will get to the measurement that I require so be it your measure your shoulder length uh, maybe 40 so you just take your shoulder length then chain up to that point so when i take my measure tape measure and measure my my chains it will stretch up to 27 so you will need to stretch it a bit so that it can be well fitting so you can see it gets up to 27 so after chaining okay so when you make your chains be conscious of the fact that you have to have a multiple of six so for mine was 120 so go into the third chain from the hook with a double crochet go into the same chain make another double crochet so to make a total of two double crochets and a chain three then chain one then go into the same stitch and make three more double crochets so we are basically making shells So then skip two chains then um, you make a half double crochet in the third chain from where you are then skip two chains then make another shell stitch of which you're going to make the first double crochet then two then the third double crochet chain one then make another set three double crochet into the same chain so that is going to be basically our pattern skip two stitches then make a half double crochet in the third then skip two then make a shell stitch so that is what you are going to repeat till you get to the end of the chain
so this is how your work is going to be looking like and you're going to repeat the same pattern till you get to the end of the chain meet you when you get there so when you get to the end you'll have like three stitches left and your last stitch should be made of a shell stitch like it will it should be a shell so I'll finish off my row one with uh, three double crochets, chain one and three double crochets. So this is what you will have after you are done with your row 1. And when I count my shells, I will have a total of 20 shells because I made 120 chains divided by 6, it gives me 20 shells. So moving to row 2, we are going to work on the other side. So I'll just chain 2. Then into the last shell that you had just made, you're going to make another shell on top of the shell that you had made. So this shell is going to have 3 double crochets. So that's 1, 2, 3, then chain 1 and make three more double crochets into the same stitch so remember you have another shell under it just make sure that you you just turned around it's you are going in a circular manner So that's our shell then into your half double crochet there on on the other side you'll just make a half double crochet on top of the half double crochet and make a shell on top the sh of the shell so that is going to be our pattern for this next part of which this is considered considered as a row two I'm just going to make shells and half double crochets. A half double crochet on top of the half double crochet on the previous row and a shell stitch on top of the shell stitch that we had. You can see we are working beneath the shell stitch so that it forms a kind of a flower. I just Add three double crochets, then chain one. Then do three more double crochets. This is how your work will look like and you're going to repeat this till you get to the end of the row and I'll meet you when you get there. So when you get to the end, you're simply going to make a slip stitch onto that chain that we had left when starting, then chain up two 
and make a double a double crochet in the next stitch then go into the chain one that is in between the three double crochets that the peak of the shell and make a half double crochet then move into the half double crochet and make a shell stitch but this time our shell stitch is going to be made up of two double crochet chain one and two more double crochets so for this row we're just simply going to make shells and half double crochets so move into the chain one space on the previous row and make a half double crochet then into the half double crochet you make a shell stitch two double crochet chain one then two double crochets so that is going to be our pattern till you get to the end of the row So this is how your work is going to look like and I'm going to do that till I get to the end and I'll see you when you get there too. Just don't forget to place two double crochets, chain one and then two double crochets for the shelves. So when you get to the end of the row, your last stitch will be the half double crochet stitch. <coughs> then just to finish our row. I'm going into the last chain, last stitch from the end and I'll make double crochet two of them. Remember we began the row with two double crochet of which one was the chain two, then chain one. So at this point is where I'm going to make space for the arms and I'm going to show you how. So remember we have 20 shells in total and I'm going to leave out one two three four given that we have 20 shells in total we'll subtract eight for both sides then it means that we'll have 12 and six will be for the front panel and uh, six the other six will be for the back panel and that is why I insist that your shells have to be an even number. So the front panel should have six and the back panel six. These four are where we are going to insert our arms. From both sides, we'll subtract four and then what we'll be having left will be six of which for the back panel, there will be the three these three from one side one two three then the other three to make up six make sure that your your piece is well laid then one two three four five six the two are for the front side and the other ones will be left for the back side so it's a bit hard to explain but you have to ev make it a bit even so going forward moving forward you'll just chain two 
then go into the next stitch and make a half double crochet then into the next stitch make a half double crochet so when you get to where you had made a half double crochet in the previous row you'll make five half double crochet into the same stitch then go into your chain one space from the previous row and make a half double crochet just one then where you previously made a half double crochet make five half double crochets that's the second set so we go into where we had our chain one space in the previous row and make a half double crochet just one then make five half double crochet in the next half double crochet on the previous row so five of them and then this is where we we put our separation this is where I'm going to chain up to leave space for my arms. When you lay it nicely, you can see that I have one, two, three, four, five for the back, one, two, three, four, five for the back, and this other side I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So when you lay it nicely it will be even the front panel and the back panel so given that we have to separate the front and the back two on the left side and then two on the other side is where we'll direct you where you'll place your stitch marker so when you go vertically upwards you'll see that your stitch marker is supposed to be placed at that point where i placed it so i'm just leaving the two for the space and then that is how I detect where I'm supposed to place my stitch marker right there where I know that I'll have three shells on the back side and then two shells for the front side so where my third shell is the middle point going vertically upwards is where I'll make my five half double crochets then continue with chaining and then I'll connect to the other side so uh, going to that part so as you can see I have one two three then one two three and the bo at the bottom side so I'm going to chain up then connect to the other side so this one the, the two are for the back side uh, the, where we are inserting our arms so I'm going to chain up a chain of 12 you can chain up whichever number you want but uh, just be sure that your arm will fit nicely when you wear it you can also confirm if you have a tape measure just take the arms measurement so that you can easily know if your chain is enough so consider making a round a full length so that you can measure so for my case I just chained up 12 then went then skipped five shells I skipped five shells at the top but at the top at the lower part I'm skipping four you remember we were supposed to leave four shells for the arms section so when I skip and then I connect my yarn where I have the half double crochet and make five half double crochet from the previous row so i'll just make five half double crochet then move into the chain one space and make a half double crochet if it's hard to follow what i'm trying to say just watch whatever i'm doing and you will get to understand whatever it is that I'm trying to explain so you'll just continue with the same pattern where you have a chain one space make a half double crochet 
but where you have a half double crochet on the previous row make five half double crochets this is a really cute pattern but it's a bit uh, tricky to explain more so if you are supposed to split for the arms so this will just i'll just continue this for the next because i'm right now working on my front panel i'm going to continue this for the next six shells on the lower side until i get to where i placed my marker i mean I'm not fast forwarding just for the sake of you who want to see whatever I'm doing so in the next stitch I'm going to make a half double crochet then in the next I'll just make five half double crochets And in the next I'll make one half double crochet at the chain one space so I've gotten to where my stitch marker is and I'm going to make five half double crochets at this point then this is where I also split my arm section actually this is the hardest part of this tutorial but it's it will be very easy if you follow then when I've gotten there I'm just going to chain up 12 the same as I did the other side I'll chain up 12 then connect it to where my stitch marker is so this is where I'm going to insert the baby's arms So after chaining up 12 count one two three sorry just let's confirm how many I counted the other side one two three four five so I'm just going to count one two three four five so that is where I'm supposed to place the five half double crochets but if you have already gotten whatever I'm trying to explain you can just go ahead and finish off but for those who are yet to understand you can just rewind till you get it or you can just simply follow the steps that I have given lay your your work nicely make sure that it's even the shells are even the front panel equals to the back panel then try to split them accordingly that's it So just to finish off this row I'm just going to continue with the pattern as before So to finish off this part I've just done a half double crochet for so for the next half double crochet I'm going to do what we have been doing and make five half double crochets on top of it then at the point where I have my a few last stitches I'm going to do two half double crochets just the same way I started you remember I chained two then made two half double crochets so at this point you are done with the hard part and I'm just going to connect my ends and start working on the bust area So 
so I'm I'm simply going to make a slip stitch then just fasten it by adding up another slip stitch then now we are ready to work on the other side but before that I want you to see how cute the top is already looking so this is the point where you can see how the separation is made and uh, you can see clearly what I was trying to mean by leaving the space for the arms so when you have when you are making for the bigger size you'll have to consider the bust section p2 so as you can see this one is 13 inches and stretched to mean that it can stretch to 27 inches or even more so it will comfortably fit the child so for an adult, uh, it's stretchy because you see this space right over here. That is why it's getting to 30. But when you put a button or something, it will be nicely fitting. So my waist size was uh, 22. But for an adult size, you have to consider the bust. So when measuring this point, make sure that the bust fits nicely. If your bust is 34, then you measurement should be around 16 inches or 17 inches for that area so for the next section we are going to do normal double crochets so I'm going to chain up two and then make a double crochet on that point and continue with double crochet for the whole round going into each and every stitch making one double crochet And when you get to where your marker is, you will go into the chains with one double crochet into each and every chain, making a total of 12 double crochet for each stitch on the chain. So just continue, then I'll see you when you've made your round. So this is just uh, this the basic double crochet for the whole round. So just continue with the same till you get to this point and when you get to that point just find a suitable means of connecting your ends just going to make the last double crochet then connect my ends so sometimes you might use this style if you don't if you want to have an invisible an invisible seam sorry then for the next row round the round two I'm going to make single crochets into each and every stitch so remember we are going to do the alpine stitch if you're familiar with that then good for you so that is what you are doing for this section but if the alpine stitch is new to you then I'm glad that you'll be able to learn something new from this video comment down below if you have ever done the alpine stitch because it's a very nice textured stitch I'll recommend it uh, for any textured work. 
uh, but if you are kinda lazy you you might want to do the double crochets for this part so after doing that connect your ends then chain up two and then go into the lower part and make a front post into your row one make a front post then for the next stitch make a normal double crochet but remember to skip one because you've already made a front post for the uh, for the other stitch then alternate with the front post then a normal double crochet then front post I'm sorry that I was a bit out of frame but I'll show you how as the video continues whatever I'm trying to say so you are just simply doing a front post double crochet then a normal double crochet so here you can see it clearly so I'm going into my next stitch make sure you skip one from the back I'm going into that stitch with a normal double crochet and into the next with a front post double crochet so that is how we make the alpine stitch but this is just how we start it it's not yet formed you'll see it's formed by our when we get to our fourth row so continue with this alternate the front post and the normal double crochet till you get to the end of the round so this is how it's going to look like continue then I'll see you when you get to the end Oh, just to remind you trend level lies pull the yarn till it levels to the rest when you're doing your front post just pull your yarn through till it levels with the others so that your work won't be bumpy and it will be well aligned so I'm almost to the end and I'm just finishing up this round So when you get to the end just make a slip stitch into that into that uh, stitch right there then we are going into our third round so the first round we had made double crochets then the second round was sim single crochets then for the third round I made front post alternating with normal double crochets for the fourth round I'm going to make single crochets into each and every stitch till I end my round that's it for the fourth round
when you get to the end simply make a slip stitch then chain up two so we are going we are in our fifth round and where you had previously made a front post double crochet on your third row make a normal double crochet then where you had made a normal double crochet go into it and make a front post double crochet just the way i am illustrating so you'll alternate that way where you previously made a front post you'll make a normal double crochet then where you previously made a normal make a front post double crochet so you'll do that for round five and please make sure you skip a stitch because you have already made a front post double crochet so it means that there will be a stitch on the fourth round that won't be touched uh, so continue with the same till you get to the end of the round So this is how your work will look like and you can see that the alpine stitch is already showing the texture is already showing and you'll continue the same till you get to the end so when you get to the end just stitch up your ends and then do single crochets so our repetition will be the single crochet then the double crochets but it won't be the normal double crochet you'll be alternating the normal double crochet with the front post double crochet so for this round i just made single crochets go to the end and uh, made a slip stitch to connect my ends then chain up two so this is the the pattern that you're going to repeat so where we had previously made a normal double crochet we are going to start our round with a front post double crochet then for the next one i'm going to do a normal double crochet and the next a front post double crochet and then remember to pull through your yarn to make it leveled with the others and that's just about it. so just make sure you continue with the pattern when you do single crochets in the next so continue with the pattern till you get to the length that you desire so i continued with my top till at this point and this is how it looks like right now and you can see how the alpine stitch looks so nice and uh, it's a texture that i'll recommend any day so when measuring the top it's about 8.5 inches and i wanted it to get to 9 inches so i'll add a few rows but not the alpine stitch i'll just make shells and single crochet so we are almost done
for this round I'll just chain one that make normal single crochets going in the same direction that I was going with see when you get to the end of the round So when I get to the end of the, my round, I'm just going to slip stitch, then chain one, then turn my work and move in the opposite direction and uh, do another round of single crochets till the end of the round. I've come to the end of the round and I'm going to slip stitch and uh, connect my ends. Now we are going to do a row of shells. So you're just simply going to turn your work. And as you can see, uh, when you interchange the direction you're going with, the two rows of single crochet can form a nice pattern so for the shells i'm just going to do what we had been doing just chain two then skip two stitches and into the third stitch make three double crochets chain one then three more double crochets into the same stitch Basically, it's the same thing I was doing at this point when I started my round, my work, and uh, I'm just going to do the same thing, Ch skip two stitches and make a half double crochet into the third stitch, then skip two more, then make a shell stitch into the third. I'm going to repeat that for the end of the round and that's about it so at this point this is just the last step of this top and I hope you did enjoy it and I believe that you learned something new and uh, please don't forget to, to subscribe and also to share your work with me via my Instagram page I'll really appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up and uh, because it encourages me to do more videos and I really appreciate the new subbies you don't know how much you mean to me right now you're giving me hopes that I should just continue doing more videos and uh, be an inspiration to you guys just because also somebody was an inspiration to me before I started uh, enough storytelling at the end of the video I'm just going to show you a top that I made for myself although I was too lazy to do the alpine stitch for that top as you know the alpine stitch is a bit of time consuming and it's uh, it eats up yarn with a big spoon so I just did uh, the the pattern at the shoulder the off shoulder then the rest I did no more stitches I interchanged uh, double crochet with single crochet that's it and you can see it's so cute bye bye guys